do you remember the last conversation understand. that we had about davido was it about something about she she should be doing something right yeah. oh no no that, oh that was sophia that was sophia that what is, what does she do what does she do for a living herself that was the last conversation about davido okay but again you know i uh, Mr. Amanda Pursuit, I think yeah. a man has to hit rock bottom. Rock okay. bottom. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you know, okay. I brought that up on a TV show yesterday. I said, <laughs> I heard you when you said rock that. Bottom. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah, a man has, that's what popped up in my head, Amanda Pursuit. Because yeah. literally, a man has to, I feel like David, I don't know if this is his rock bottom. because We don't know, like, right? Yeah, this could mm -hmm. be. She's gonna be like, man, I'm everywhere. She's ruining my yep. image, and he's probably sad, or or maybe he's not. Maybe partying. Who knows? Yep. Enough is that point where you say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm tired. Everybody's threshold for that is different. We don't know what it's going to take for them. Sometimes that's literally their life gone, and God forbid, right? <laughs> Said this, I tell you, Two Face and David will never learn their lesson because Annie and Choma have never gotten up to say, I'm done. Yeah, because that could be it. Like, if you lose a girl, if you lose your wife, that could be the rock bottom for certain men, you know. Mm -hmm. um, for a Davido, I don't know, right? Because I do know, I, 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 uh, I recall I was watching a. Uh, Okay, we were at the show earlier today, right? And we were talking about that. I was just in the chat. We don't know what the um, we don't know. I lost my train of thought for a second. We don't know. We don't know what is the rock bottom for him, right? I do think he's in love. It's in love. A lot of people push against that. Say no, you can't be in love. Now that now that's a semantics issue. Let me explain what I mean by in love. Being in love is purely emotional pure there's no purpose no duty no responsibility behind it it's just that you grew up you watched enough hollywood or nollywood movies you like the idea of france noir being in love with genevieve naji and you fantasize about that and you told yourself me one day when i have money i'm gonna have that girl i'll buy her the world she's gonna be everything to me right this is your idea of love in your head but it's just you're in love with the idea of a romantic like a live happily ever after type of situation when you love it's more intentional i actually don't think personally my personal opinion i don't think anyone that hasn't been in marriage is capable of they don't even know what i'm talking about they can't comprehend it right they they are in love they go into a marriage in love right and uh when they get into a marriage when your spouse when they test you when they test your core you're gonna now find out like this is a lot more than i thought right when you are being tested let's say you have the kind of money that david has and you have options backstage all the girls all the specs you ever dreamt about in your life they came backstage you can get away with everything right now right in that moment that test comes like that can you pass that test that's where you're going to find out the real life that's where you're going to find out who we are as people how our brain functions right you fall one time second time the third time you're like this is a struggle at that point is when you start to know what real life is you find out that money can't buy everything because you bought your way everybody put that seal the doors nobody can see nothing no cameras but then this chick came out of nowhere six months later <laughs> with a picture of you sweating for no reason <laughs> if you look at the picture on the screen right now right and you're like wow this world is much more bigger right in this space is where you start to find out real life that's when you start to know you might be you might maybe possibly be able to comprehend what it means to love a person right to love a person to be quote unquote selfless right you're you're doing it deliberately how do you do that deliberately you have to connect what is the end game of this right what is the long-term game of this right in love has short-term gain as in i feel good about the idea of chioma i do think he feels that way about chioma i do think he would like to know what it feels like to be able to love a chioma for a end a long term uh, a long term uh game right but i i don't think he knows the difference between the two things i just said one is a short-term feeling um 
doesn't mean I can't do Kerewa with an Anita. In fact, you know what? I almost lost Chioma, so I know what it takes, but not really, right? And then lost your son, and then you're like real life, but you still don't know what is going. You don't. You have. You basically you don't know how bad you can get as a human being. You don't know how bad you can get with your bad habits. You don't know how bad you can get. You don't know how bad the people around you can get with hurting you in the same breath, claiming that they love you. Just think about that for a second, right? That's a very confusing thing. You don't know how bad it can get where you want to... Like, how can you claim that you love me, <laughs> right? And you're behaving this way, right? And then you just want to conclude and say, you know what? Based off of paper or math, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. You don't love me, right? And it's all confusing, right? That's when real life comes in. So I don't think we all know what love is, um, uh, especially when we talk about conditional love. I don't think we are all capable. You're not capable of unconditional love without God. I say that all the time, right? Uh, everything at, within certain respect and context is transactional. It's kind of sad. But also, it's not exactly transactional, but sometimes you give yourself, right? You give yourself all the way to a person, but you're not thinking I'm being transactional, right? Until they're not meeting up to par, and then you start to question, I like, say, why am I pouring everything into this guy, and this guy is not reciprocating? That's that moment you find out that you're transactional too. Because if it wasn't transactional, you shouldn't have any expectations, but that's unrealistic too right so it's quite confusing that's why i said we can't generalize we have to bring it down to individual by individual basis as individuals but also case by case case by case cases so i think davido might be in love with chioma i i can't bring love into it i said does he love chioma i don't think that's relevant i don't think he knows what that is i think he loves his feelings I think he's a, he might be a hurt man. I don't want to call him a hurt man without knowing his full story. But he might be a hurt man. Effectively, will hurt other people. Not necessarily deliberately. Just because he's trying to cope. You see what I'm saying? So that's where I'm gravitating towards. When I still did here, I just quiet. Taking yeah, lessons. I, you have to pay me. Yeah, we're listening. listening. Yeah, we're here. I was also thinking <laughs> that like, but I feel like love is an action more than an emotion. That's what I'm saying. I feel, like, I feel like he really doesn't love Chioma action wise. Action -wise. Do you think he's in love with Chioma? Loving somebody and, and being in love with somebody is, 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 is two different things. That's what I'm saying. So I'm asking the other one. Do you think he's in love with Chioma? I do not think he's in love with Chioma. Hmm. I, I, yeah. I, the reason why I, I think, I believe that is because of because of his beliefs. And what do you mean by that? Beliefs meaning that I have this woman by my side, but mm -hmm. I don't feel no remorse if I go and mess around with with, with Anita or with mm -hmm. Jessica or with with uh, right. Annabelle. Right, right, right. Or Anita. Or Anita. <laughs> okay. Call Anita. I'm just kidding. Nina. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite cousin's name, so I'm hot right now. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. You know, a man can be like, "Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. I want to be with you." Mm -hmm. But what? What does this? Actually yeah, that's say? just words. That's just words. Um, yeah, that's just words. But you know what you just said is why I was being careful when I was typing into Antibi's uh, chat earlier today. Um, I wanted to say he might be in love. So I, I think, I was like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, and then I said, I think he's in love with an idea. I think he would like to, I think he would like to, the idea of a man who is, who is content with a Chioma. That's deep. No, I think he really likes Chioma though. I think that's his homie. That's his uh, quote unquote homie, lover, friend, right? Uh, that, that I think he would do anything for... To protect Chioma, you know. Uh, in love, in a romantic way, I think that's questionable. In love with the idea of being in love with her in a romantic way, I think I think he does. Because he's literally every, every 
every interview he's done in the past weeks, he's mentioned his wife. You know, so I think there's a struggle there. Uh, Davido doesn't need to mention wife. There's no, there's no other motive outside he would like the idea that is, he can do it. You know, he doesn't have to mention any girl's name. He's big. He's huge. He's the biggest star Allah, in Nigeria right now. Allah, you know, it's very important for people to understand. So good men and women, when they get married, you can't change anybody. Mm -hmm. You can't change anybody because I want to believe that Chioma had that feeling. That probably if they get married, or maybe people are like telling her that if you should get married, yeah, he will change because he's not married. But when he knows he has a wife, he will stop. No, he won't stop. It will be yeah. worse. Yeah, yeah. I, I also that's like always fail. That's always like that's always gonna fail. Go ahead. Is, is... Oh, are you stop? Are you talking? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I, I feel like Davido is, is, is chasing his own shadow. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like he can't, he, he, he's not his real self. Mm -hmm. I feel like he, he he has to put up an image while mm -hmm. he, I feel like he's putting a mask while he's hiding under that mask. Why? What's the motive? Because he's, he's, he's everybody's love. He, he's loved around the world. Yeah, but he's already loved around the world. Why would he need to put on? Shouldn't that be in, shouldn't that be enough for him not to do what he's doing? That's the reason if why you he know shouldn't that. Do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one reason why you shouldn't do it. It's just like you going to school. Your parents keep reminding you. Remember where you're coming from. You want to do stuff, but you be like, you know what? I don't mess my parents' name up. And they always tell us, remember where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's nah. why I feel like I, that's why I feel like he's hiding. I feel like I feel like. He puts that, oh, everybody loves me, and yeah, that's why I shouldn't do the things I do. But at the end of the day, he's he's lying to himself. He's so, lying. so I would agree with you slightly that because I'm thinking as you're talking, right? Mm -hmm. I would agree with you slightly that he does care about how people perceive him, right? Mm -hmm. But I also think that he's such a powerful guy that that's only to an extent, right? And I um. <laughs> Because it's the same reason I think I think he really likes Chioma. I, I think he really like. I'm almost want to say he's in love, but I can't say that because you know if you're in love with a person, the only thing you can think about is being with them. That's all you can think about. So that's the only part that's making me like, nah, I won't go there. But I would say he really really likes Chioma, as in like the way he would like a friend, like don't touch my friend, you know. Like that, that type of just like a person like that. Like you like a person to the extent you make them your wife. But um, but I also feel like um, you know I'm a little conflicted. But I think it's the emotional aspect of things. I think we're all subject to emotions, regardless of how much money we have. And that's why I keep telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you pay attention to what is it, what is in it for your partner, then you win. It, it doesn't mean you're. It doesn't mean you're not taking care of yourself. It doesn't mean that you're discounting self-love. It, it, it's in fact, if you care for self-love and you understand seduction, you should always ask the question: What is in it for them, right? And um, it, David, what is in it? The question I asked you earlier will be: If I say, what's the motive? What is in it for him to want to put up a mask, right? And you said it's because people kind of is loved around the world and we saw in that text message even though that text message is not confirmed right i think it's kind of confirmed at this point but let's just say allegedly right that time we saw in that text message you see where he said you know i don't need this right now i'm not in that space right now so he does care about what it looks like to his fans and stuff like that you know but um it's a complicated situation because again pride is involved power is involved money is involved right his emotions are also involved right now we're talking about emotions emotions entangled up with what what is it what exactly is it emotion about is it to satisfy the world or to satisfy chioma you know what i mean does he just want to look good to the world or no i can't i can't afford to lose this girl those are two different things and that will create a conflict one way or the other uh let me just address this really quickly Eunice says marriage in the eyes of the law hey welcome back uh Eunice Yvette I saw Yvette's message earlier welcome I know Yvette said she was on vacation and she as well uh marriage in the eyes of the law is a contract right correct she says 
marriage is the primary structure of society. That's correct. Toby and Tribe says marriage is a contract. That's also correct, right? Now, here's the issue with particularly what I talk about here, right? We're talking about you and your outlook and your perspective when you are going into marriage is precisely what I talk about, right? When your outlook about marriage is, is purely a contract, you will treat it like a business contract and you, my friend, you will collect. Okay? You will. Because now we're talking about your outlook and you're getting into something that's much, much in reality as a matter of fact, when you consider the biggest variable of them all, the emotions, is bigger than a paper contract, okay? We're talking about even if you didn't sign this paper and you go to the altar and you say, I'm with this woman and your heart is there like that, this person can literally pull the rug from under you and it can take you into a spin of depression and you can literally, uh, you can, you can literally destroy everything just like that just because somebody hurt you at that space right so i'm talking about your outlook when it comes to you as an individual going into a marriage it's dangerous to see it as a contract let the government see it as what it is because the government is the government it's not a person it's the government the institutional structure is paper of course they have to see it's in the database somewhere it's just you're just a number as far as they're concerned you're absolutely correct about that okay but when it comes to you as an individual in fact if you want to look at other individuals and see their marriage as that's just a contract feel free knock yourself out it's not gonna hurt you but if you see your own marriage you're going into as just a contract it's just a business guess what you're going to do with your partner you're going to treat them like a partner a mere partner right and that's not good enough because sometimes they won't show up like this and you can't sue them to court without destroying everything in that path your children family members in-laws on both sides is much larger than a contract in that space because if it wasn't um yeah you're probably going to treat it that way right and if you're allowing a person to your world like that to come and sign quote unquote a contract with you a contract that's going to take you much much bigger than just a decision to get out of okay yeah it's not just a contract at that point in time it's much larger and I wouldn't put marriage on the pedestal. I will take care of the other person. Obviously, I say that all the time as well. It just depends on what we're talking about, right? So there's no there's no doubt that, yes, it is a contract on paper. There's a difference between what you see on paper and how you have to deal with these things when it comes to reality.